managing director Thomas Cox is a hotelier with 30 years experience, making his name at some of London's most prestigious hotels, the Berkeley, the Connaught, and Claridge's. At Corinthia, he runs the commercial side of the operation, but still enjoys the fine details of running a five-star hotel. I'm writing our welcome cards. You know, I'd like to think of myself as a modern man, but you know, a little bit of etiquette, like the art of handwriting cards, using an ink pen, for example, um, I, I don't think that should be lost. I mean, who would? Who would continue to do this, if not us? Like this stamp here and our Corinthia logo, and then that goes into the wax. It's a layer of appreciating a detail. A necessary unnecessity. Do I have incredibly high standards? Um, sure, but that's what we do here, no? This is a luxury hotel with very high aspirations. Only the best should be good enough. And the most important thing is this is not a one-man show. So the hotel manager is very much on my mind because that's a missing link. Um, we had this position vacant for a few months now. The hotel manager is, um, in essence, the number two in the hotel. It's also the person who runs the hotel in my absence. So it's an incredible role. We really urgently need to, need to fill it. This is where we keep most of our china. You see a lot of things here, room service china, here is some of our afternoon tea china. This room is also great to make discoveries, I never saw these plates before, but I mean there's maybe a reason for that. We keep some really beautiful things in here, like I mean like look these plates for example, they are very very beautiful plates. I know the chef uh, loves them, but you can buy them. I mean, we can go now and, and, and we can buy these plates. But what I'm looking for is for something that you can't buy. Just like that. J only for us. Thomas is an obsessive about detail. And that's not just the way things look and the way things um, must be placed in the hotel. It's absolutely every detail of everything. Ah, here we are. Thomas's obsession with detail has brought him and communications director Alice to Stoke-on-Trent to meet Richard Brendan, who is at the forefront of modern British ceramic design. Hey. Hello, hello. Today, they're hoping to finalize a bespoke fine bone china banqueting service commissioned by Thomas. We thought on some of the pieces we could have black roses with one rose with the red. Or we could do it so we have a, a border like this and all of the roses are in gold. So I think gold would okay. be better. Great. We love gold. Yeah, one golden rose doesn't work. It's better with all, all golden gold. roses, yes. I, I think this is a very, very beautiful plate, just all golden roses. Okay. Right. Price just went up, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> if it's expensive, Thomas will indulge in it. You're making our pot now, yeah? Yep. Yeah, it's making the shape, it's forming the shape. You do everything by hand in everything. batches of six? Everything. Yeah. Everything's done by okay. hand, yeah. British bone china is a 200-year tradition, and before finalising his order, Thomas wants to see the production firsthand. It is fascinating how many steps are involved. It's the time between the, the different processes as well. So Steve will cast the teapot on a Monday. Tina can't sponge it until Tuesday. Yeah. It won't go on the biscuit kiln until Wednesday. It won't be able to go on the gloss kiln until Thursday. So it's basically a week from start to finish. I never look at a teapot in the same way again. You know... <gasps> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm not touching anything anymore. And don't ever take me to a glass factory. So. <laughs> For our banqueting department, we're probably looking at six and eight hundred pieces okay. per item. Let me know what shapes you need and indicative quantities. We can then start to work out the pricing for you and, and yeah. come back to you with that. 
All that's left to do is to calculate the final cost of the 15,000 piece banqueting service. But a new dinner service isn't the only thing on Thomas's shopping list. How heavy is it? Oh, it's not oh, heavy. It's not too bad. Just be careful here. Have a look, Thomas, yeah? It's all. Careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's big, but it's not that big. No, it's not. Got it. Manufactured in Bristol by furniture maker Matt Bridges. Slowly down, and okay. we're within two mil in that okay. hole. And designed by Guy Oliver, who normally works on super yachts and state rooms. When you open it. Very, very nice. It's it's good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> I like it. The cart named Carson will elevate the guest arrival experience with luxury gifts and culinary treats from Corinthia's pastry chefs. Thomas is great, he comes up with these fabulous ideas and he makes sure they they come to fruition. Maybe this one in the middle. But is it necessary? No. We, we've lived quite well without one, but um, once we have it, we probably won't want to miss it uh, ever again. With the cart assembled, there's one small problem. And that doesn't fit into our lifts. It's too wide and, yeah, and too long. It came in uh, two or three pieces. When the roof is on and with the canopy, it's not fitting into any of our lifts anymore. I mean, right now, I can't really see any other opportunity than, than have a few strong uh, guys carrying it down the stairs. Yeah, I am a little bit worried. Um, let's see how it will go. And how many people do you have to lift it? After three months of painstaking work, I'm coming. It's now down to four burly men to ensure Carson arrives safely in the lobby. Let's be very careful, guys. Yeah. Don't worry. We've got the French polishers here. <laughs> yeah. Please, not on day one. Be careful here. Careful. Yeah. French polisher in action. Be careful here again. Yeah. I think. I mean, take a little pause at the top of the steps here, yeah? and we can decide. Uh, of action. Maybe you want to get the other side, so you're down the other side of the steps. Yeah. Oh God, it's all happening, look. Yeah. That's it. One more, can do it. Let it roll on the stairs. Let it roll on the stairs. Let the stairs take the weight. That's it, let it come down. That's it. Well, you drop your end. This room is coming down now. So gently down. Yeah. One. Next one. Next one. Stairs coming. Okay. Last one. Well done. Look at that, well done. Well, thank God. I mean, I can tell you, I think my heart skipped a beat there. But you know what? It's done. <laughs> it's down here. Let's hope we will never need it up there again. With Corinthia's newest addition to the front of house team in place. Hey. Back of house, there's news from the ceramicist Richard Brendan on the 15,000 piece bespoke banqueting service. <laughs> the moment has come, uh, the moment of truth. Um, the quotation is in and um, the designs have gone in, in, incredibly well. And then, um, you know, the <laughs> it always happens to me. <laughs> the prices ooh, are of course uh, gone through the roof, the gold prices have gone up and um, there's a lot of gold on, on, on those plates. With the price of the banqueting service in excess of 100,000 pounds, Thomas needs a rethink. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Richard. I was wondering whether we should maybe reconsider the use of this uh, range and actually use it to celebrate our 10th anniversary next year and maybe revise the quantities of this range um, a little bit. Yeah, it's funny you should say that. I've actually uh, I've been thinking the same already. The look and the design stays the same, but we maybe use uh, less gold. <laughs> 